I just arrived in Barcelona. It's about 6 p.m. I have the day off today, the evening off, I guess, before I start working tomorrow. I'm shooting with Massimo duty all week. But I just arrived. I'm starving because I slept the whole flight and didn't eat. So I'm going to go head to my favorite restaurant called Flax and Kale, which has lots of healthy vegetarian options. It's not very Spanish, but it's what I like and it's my favorite here. So I'm going to go grab a quick bite there, then do a little workout and sauna sesh to get rid of all of that bloating and puffiness from the plane. But First things first, food. I just finished eating and of course I'm jet lagged and it's breakfast time in New York so I had avocado toast but I got some juices and healthy muffins in the morning for breakfast because I have 6 a.m. call time so I will not be having time for breakfast. Nothing will be open at that time so I'm going to explore a little bit, walk around and then do a little workout. I got this gluten-free blueberry muffin for breakfast tomorrow, a green juice, and an antioxidant juice, and some kale chips. Now I'm gonna go sit on the rooftop of my hotel. They have a really nice pool with a really nice view, and I'm gonna study my French there because I'm taking French lessons. I'm gonna do that for an hour, and then work out, and then sauna, and then of course, some skincare before I go to sleep. Of course, in Europe, huge gems. <laughs> this is literally the size of my bedroom in New York. But let's get it, no excuses. I really don't wanna do this. So I'm gonna do, I don't know if you can hear me because there happens to be a concert going on right outside the gym but i'm doing starting with um jump rope even though i don't have a jump rope i'm still going to do the jumps and arm motions and each move for one minute each i'm really jet lagged i really don't want to do this but i'm going to push myself guys motivating myself you can do with me I'm like, if my legs feel heavy, my brain's not working, I'm so jet lagged. I'm gonna do that one more time, one more round, 30 second break, and then I'm getting back into it. Warm up. Is done. Okay, at time, I'm gonna do a plank series, 60 seconds for each move. Five more seconds up, and I'm gonna make it. I hate that happens. Come on, Madison. Give my abs a breakdown and do thighs and butt for right now. I'm doing 10 of each move. If I'm 
me do that one more time before going back to abs. My abs are still on fire. absolutely pathetic there's a concert going on right outside the window people drinking having fun laying by the pool and i'm in this tiny ass gym suffering like honestly i probably won't even upload this <laughs> you guys should maybe it's important to show because a i'm jet lagged i'm exhausted not only in my mind but my body just feels like cinder box tmi but i'm on my period and i'm just like no motivation this gym is boring and small there's no ac i'm sweating um, <laughs> wow i'm like really complaining guys you can see how tired i am now it's like all hitting me now but you know some days you kill a workout you feel really good and sometimes you struggle through the whole thing and feel like shit but you know what these are the days that count the most so still giving my body what it needs even though it's exhausted and this isn't a really embarrassing workout video so <laughs> I'm doing 10 of each I don't even fit in here I'm going to do 10 of each move other leg my camera in there but happy that workout's over and now it's time to sweat and relax some more <laughs> so these are the products i brought with me all drunk elephant and one one skin of course my two favorite brands ever since i just got out of the sauna and just showered i'm gonna wash my face with the drunk elephant face wash oops and then I'm gonna do the Talika face mask. This is actually the one that I got in Paris that you saw on my Paris vlog when I went to the pharmacy. So I'm gonna wash my face and do the mask now while I study and then I'll do my night magic after. Please excuse the light, it's very horrible in here. So first I'm going to put my hair up so it's out of the way. I like to use a scrunchie because it doesn't make a dent in my hair. I'm gonna wash with the Drunk 11 face wash, jelly cleanser. Let's do it. Can you see my face wash? I swear I'm not red, this light. Oh my God, it's horrible. Just a little pea size. And then I'm just gonna massage into my face. It's like a jelly, so it doesn't really like foam up. I 
and then rinse. And then I'm going to pat dry. Ooh, my eyebrows are sticking up. Okay, now that I'm all dry, I'm gonna do the Talika Bioenzymes Hydrating Mask. Intense hydration, plumps and softens, soothes discomfort. Remove the protective film. Place mask onto a clean face. Remove the other protective film from the mask. Leave on for 15 to 30 minutes. Oh my gosh, mask with two protective films kill me. Like honestly, it's so confusing. Which one is it? Ooh, really? Oh my God, like which one is it? I, there's like, okay, let's see if my jet lagged brain can figure this out. Okay, so I took the white protective film off. Now, putting it on. Ooh, it smells really nice. Okay, there's another layer that I'm missing. Okay, here we go, I found it. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna smooth it out. I have to say it feels very good on my skin and it smells really nice. And if there's ever excess, I like to massage it into my neck. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 15 to 20, wow, I look really scary. I'm gonna leave this on for 15 to 20 minutes while I do some studying. And then after I finish studying, I'm gonna do my nighttime routine. So let's get it. Okay, so I have my mask on, I'm studying, and I just put on, my lips are feeling really dry. I think it's from the fight. I'm trying out, actually Clarence sent me a gift of a bunch of products and I've been dying to try them. So I'm trying one of them now. And this is the Clarence Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. It's really nice. It's like super gooey, it looks like honey. Can't really move my lips that much or my face, but. Feels very hydrating, lots of hydrating going on over here. Studying. Have water, an antioxidant juice that I got from flax and kale, and of course some kale chips. Perfect for my nutrition class studies. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Okay guys, I'm still studying. I just took my test, my weekly test. I only got one wrong. Yay. And I'm going to take this off. I completely lost track of time. This has actually been on my face for an hour, which is not very good. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but it's like completely dry to my face. Ooh. Oh my God. I can actually see like the lines of my skin on here. Well, I have to say, my face feels very hydrated and my lips are much more moisturized. There's actually not that much like residue left because um, it's been on for so long. So it's kind of like already dried into my skin. I'm going to do 30 more minutes of studying and then do my night routine and get some sleep since I have an early call time tomorrow. So I finished studying. And fun fact, well, it's not that fun, <laughs> but what I learned today is in my nutrition class is basically about stress and how it affects weight. And you can be eating healthy, working out, doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing for your health and you can experience weight gain because of stress. Um, People, I also learned um, that people tend to eat more dense foods when they're stressed. Foods that make them feel satisfied and make them feel full, um, which typically ends up being bad food. And in regards to that, in addition to that, um, your body tends to go into survival mode when you're stressed and holds on to everything. So whether you, you know, like for an example, for me, I try to eat as healthy as possible. I actually enjoy it and it makes me feel good, but there are times where I crave a burger or pizza or something greasy and fattening, which is fine to have that every once in a while. But if you're stressed and you're eating like that, you tend to eat like that more, but also your body holds on to the weight and holds on to the fat as a 
as a survival mechanism. So it's really interesting, but basically to conclude that little nugget of knowledge, it's super important when you're focusing on health that you're also focusing on mental health because the two go hand in hand and you can't be healthy without being mentally healthy. So on that note, with my self-care day today, <laughs> I felt happy walking around Barcelona exploring the city. I've been here many times now, but I just like to wander down the streets and explore and come across new things. Unfortunately, today is Sunday, so a lot of stores were closed. So I just did a lot of walking around in the sun, um, got some sun by the pool, did some French classes, um, did some studying on that. So I can also say, excusez-moi, est-ce que vous comprenez l'anglais? We oui. understand English. <laughs> so I fed my brain. I fed my happiness with some sunshine and exploring. Um, I worked out even though it was miserable. I was miserable and it was like kind of a lame workout. I feel good that I did it and that I did something. It's better than not doing anything. Um, and now I'm going to give my skin some love and then give my brain and body some love by going to sleep. So I did the face mask. I feel hydrated. My lips feel hydrated. I'm just going to, there doesn't feel like any residues on my skin, but I'm just gonna just wash with cold water. Pat dry. I, since I did the face mask tonight, I'm not gonna try the drunk elephant facial yet. I wanna do that tomorrow night. Um, but I am going to start off with the Drunk Elephant Night Serum. I love the packaging. Like, look how cute this is. You like twist it. It's so cute. I love it. So just gonna lather that on. Let that soak in a little bit. The next thing I'm gonna do is the Vitamin C 111 Skin Brightening Booster. This is from the Black Diamond series that you guys know I'm obsessed with. But I'm just gonna do three drops. I hate when it like goes in between your fingers. It's like, I need that stuff. Each drop is valuable. Next, I'm going to do the Virgin Marula Luxury Facial Oil by Drunk Elephant. I have the big version, but again, I brought my little version because it's cute and it fit perfectly in my purse. I'm going to do two drops because I don't need too much as I did a hydrating face mask. But it just really soaks in so I can be glowy tomorrow and not look as dead as I feel. <laughs> oh, she glowy. I mean, this light. I literally look like a beat in this light, but here I don't look red. It's so bizarre. I promise this stuff works and looks good. It's just the lighting. Next, I'm gonna do the 111 Skin Sub-Zero Deep Puffing Eye Duo. There's a step one and step two. I'm gonna do the step one first. And I just do one really little squeeze as like seriously, this little bit goes a long way. I just put under my eyes around the corners here. While that is sinking in, I'm going to do the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. <laughs> it's basically a moisturizer, but look how cute it is. So you open like this, and then you squeeze. It's so cute, and it's like the perfect amount. I'm going to try to avoid the under eye area just because step one of the eye cream is still sinking in. So I'm just gonna do this around my face everywhere else. Lots of moisturizing. Now I'm gonna do the step two of the 111 Skin Eye Serum. Again, just like a really little bit. It goes a long way. And last but not least, this is like a new thing that I'm really obsessed with. The 111 Skin Celestial Black Diamond Contour Gel. It has this little like massager thing on it. So you squeeze and like a little bit comes out. And then you put it like wherever you have fine lines. I'm gonna do like around here. I don't know what that is called. I'm gonna call it a mustache wrinkle and on my forehead. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I squeeze a little bit 
And now I just massage it in. I squeeze a little bit more. I know it's a lot, but I like to overdo it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna do a little bit, like a tiny little bit here. And voila, I'm ready for bed. Actually, no, I'm not ready for bed. I already brushed my teeth. I have this all natural melatonin, um, and it's like a mouth spray. I actually stole it from Valerie. <laughs> At Valerie Kaufman, if you're watching this, sorry for stealing this from you. I asked to borrow it and never gave it back because I was so obsessed with it. <laughs> anyway, it's by O N N I T on it, and you just shake and spray six times. Minty. But what I like about it is it's all natural and it's not like I've tried Advil PM, I've tried other sleeping medicine, and it just makes me feel hungover the next day. Like I don't feel rested and rejuvenated, even if I've slept for a long time. But this helps me fall asleep, and it's like a very I like feel like it's not like a drunken night medicine, like sleeping pill kind of like drunk sleep. It's like a very not I just fall asleep and I wake up easily and I don't feel hungover. So hopefully I sleep through the night. But I'm already and we'll be getting up in six hours. So, see you then. <laughs> Done with hair and makeup and ready to shoot. Honestly, I think that even my workout was pathetic. I exhausted myself enough to sleep through the night, thank God. So I'm feeling really good, feeling so much better in my mind, body, everything. And glowy skin, no longer dying. <laughs> Off to shoot all these clothes. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Adios. <laughs>